How long do you end up staring at a quilt, deciding on how to quilt the thing? I hear people say, well, let the quilt talk to you. I'm just glad it doesn't talk back. So what does it mean, let a quilt talk to you? And how do you decide how to quilt a quilt? Well, I'm going to walk you through my decision-making process on this little butterfly quilt. Letting a quilt talk to you. In Julie world, this means when you look at a quilt, what do you see and how do you feel? When I look at this quilt, I see beautiful, bright stars and butterflies on a white background. This quilt is a smaller quilt, so the area of negative space is a smaller scale. I see an outdoor theme. I see bright, beautiful colors. When looking at the different fabrics, I take note of the different designs in them because this can help guide your quilting designs. I feel like it is light, airy, and fun. It's a happy quilt. When I look at this, I also really feel like I want those stars and the butterflies to remain the focal point even after it's quilted. So putting these together, the quilt really is talking to you and guiding you on your quilting. That's why no two quilts are really ever could be quilted the same is because when you look at this quilt and what you feel and when I look at this quilt and what I feel are two different things. That's how we have our different visions. So when I look at this, I really want the, the stars and the, the butterflies to remain the focal point. Now, in order to do that, I could color match my thread to the background. And so it would be basically white on white and all you would see would be texture. Or I could choose a fine thread. And I often think that the weight of thread is really overlooked. It can make a huge difference in quilting. The quilting design being flowers, I wanted a little bit of color, a 60 or 100 weight thread would create this soft glow of color. It just sounds so dreamy to me. However, the majority of the variegated thread on the market is a 40 weight thread. I very rarely use a 40 weight thread. My go-to threads are either a 60 or 100 weight thread. The reason is thread buildup. Thread buildup creates weight or heaviness to quilting. And remember in this quilt, my vision is light and airy. So I started looking for some variegated threads that were a lighter weight. I found a 50 weight variegated thread called Tiara. The colorways were not ideal. I did find this rainbow and this variegated thread is a 40 weight thread with beautiful ideal colorway. I could not find anything else finer than the 50 weight Tiara. Thread buildup can happen so quickly, and when you're using a thread that doesn't blend, it's even more noticeable. So I really think that in this instance, the weight of the thread is gonna be pretty important. This little quilt has a lot of firsts in it for me. It's a first time picture piecing, it's a first time foundation piecing and it's my first time designing a pattern and that was my star pattern. So I thought it fitting that I continue being out of my comfort zone with the quilting. When I started quilting many years ago, I was playing around with a quilting design that is flowers and I really never played with it again until now. I was on the plane coming back home and I started playing with a vine design. And you can see how kind of squirrely my lines are. When I was on the plane, there was a lot of turbulence. And some of these are, you know, really squirrely. But, you know, when you have sketches that you really don't particularly care for, hang on to them. I have in the past tossed a lot of those. And 
I kind of regret doing that because I could go back and there's always ideas. And my sketches, you can kind of see them evolving and changing. And this design I think is perfect for this quilt. It checks the boxes. It's an outdoor theme. And this design is easily scalable to whatever size area you have. So this is going to be my design. I'm going to do just kind of a floral meander through the background using a fine thread, but it's decision time. Do I compromise on the colorway to get a lighter weight thread? Now, the reason that I think that this colorway is perfect is because there's the colors in the thread that are throughout this quilt, including the teal, which will help balance this these stars, the teal in these stars. Now this tiara thread is beautiful and it has a little bit of the teal to help balance the, the teal and the stars, but it does have some of the different colors that are within the, the other fabrics as well. So I think that this will be beautiful as well. And so the decision that I need to choose is, do I go for the you know weight or a colorway that is perfect. And for me, the thread buildup is more important. So I am choosing this finer weight, 50 weight thread in a colorway that is not probably ideal, but it's, it's beautiful and I think it will look beautiful. So it is enough talk. Let's get quilting and watch this quilt come alive. My initial plan was to do the floral vine motif over in this um, tiara silk thread 50 weight all over the background. And I've changed my mind on that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this thread and I am going to make the shape of a cross. So these squares that are in the shape of the cross will all have the floral motif design in this variegated thread. All of the other blocks and this border will be a color matched thread. So it'll be white on white with the same floral vine motif. So that's the plan. So let's get started. One thing as you know, I started this, you can see over here, I actually stopped, cut my thread and was going to take some of this out. This type of quilting is very much out of my comfort zone for me. But if I were to take you know, and start ripping some of this out and starting over. You know, I'm not making progress and I'm not creating that muscle memory. And so I encourage you to challenge yourself to push yourself out of that comfort zone because that's really when you're gonna learn and grow as a quilter. So now I am going to change threads back to a white and get going on the background. There are several ways that I could have quilted this little quilt. I could have stayed with my past quilting designs and it would have been a beautiful, elegant little quilt. I'm glad that I listened to this little quilt talk to me through what I saw and how I felt when I looked at it, plus knowing the background of this little quilt being a quilt of firsts for me. The variegated thread that I originally chose, the Tiara 50 weight silk variegated thread is beautiful. I was very concerned about putting that over the entire quilt. So I decided to put it into the shape of a cross and then do the thread matching in the remaining background. And I'm very thankful that I did. This is so out of my comfort zone. Um, both in using the variegated thread on such a light background where it is 
you can see everything. The other part of this out of my comfort zone is this flower meander. And I think it struck a really good balance of pushing me into the variegated thread. You can see in some of my quilting where I was nervous. <laughs> it's not, there's not a flow to it. But you can also see where I started to relax. There's more of a flow and smoothness to the quilting. So I think the overall key to the success in this quilt is that it is a quilt of firsts through and through. I'd love to hear what you're working on. Leave me a comment below. Check out this video that shows how I piece this quilt.